guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to another video. And today I am going to be trying on some one size fits all clothes from Amazon. Here's my thing about one size fits all clothes. Sometimes they're fine. I usually wear a size 14, so I'm right in between standard sizing and plus sizing. In the past when I tried one size fits all clothes, it did not go well for me, spoiler alert. However, those were from Brandy Melville, which is actually one size fits small. I do not wear a size small. So I'm hoping that maybe Amazon's one size items will have a little bit of a wider range of fit and we'll see how Oh, they work, so let's just get into it. Oh, but before we do, um, I am having a live show in Escondido, California, a live celebration of hitting 1 million subscribers. It's coming up next week and we still have a few tickets remaining. So link in the description, sierraunfiltered.com, get yours and I will see you on the 24th hopefully into the video. So the first one size item we have is a sweater. It says it is a loose fitting knit pullover sweater. It was $23.99. Obviously I got it in one size. Now let's see it. Okay, but why is this like the perfect fit on me? I thought for sure this wasn't gonna work because I thought it would be meant to have this kind of fit on someone who wears like a smaller and extra small and then it would just be super awkwardly ill-fittingly tight on me who wears like a size 14 but this is like perfect like it really it's just a nice kind of like billowy sweater the only thing I could see is maybe if I wanted to like pull it down like this with leggings then it would be a little bit tight but like this I feel like it's kind of perfect see this is why I think I should maybe do a video like this where I compare one size fits all items with someone who wears like a smaller side on the spectrum because I'm like if this fits me like this still how even though it fits me how is it one size like how would this work on someone who wears a size two I don't know it it's really cute it's really comfy I like it a lot. I'll definitely wear it, but I don't think if it wasn't for this video, if I saw that a sweater like this was one size, I'd be like, yeah, nope, not for me. Not going to order it. I'm happy with this. I would say this fits me very, very well. Wouldn't want to size up or size down if I could. And it's comfortable. This works. Big yes from this one. The next item I have is a wrap and I love little wraps like this for winter. Some of the ones that I have in my closet are sized and some of them are just one size. I feel like one size can work for something like this since it's more like loose fitting. It's just a wrap and a cover, but uh, we will find out. This was $29.46. Let's see it. This totally works. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think wraps, ponchos, capes, this kind of thing is really one of the only items that works as a one size. And even still, it should be one size fits most because there's a chance that there might be someone that this doesn't fit. And I'm a size 14, so I'm barely plus size. So I feel like I can't really necessarily say, oh, this would work for all plus size women. But I feel like this could totally work for someone who's even like five or six sizes bigger than me. Would it work for someone who has a much smaller figure than me? that I'm honestly not sure. It might swallow them up a little bit more. I feel like it is kind of a lot of fabric. So if you have a much smaller figure, it might not be as comfortable to wear. My favorite thing about little wraps like this is wearing them when I travel because it's like cute for walking through the airport, cute when you get off the plane, but then when you're on the plane, you can just kind of like wrap up in it like a little blanket. And the only difference between this and like an actual throw blanket is that it has like a little niche cut in for your neck and your arms. <laughs> so I would go ahead and venture to say this definitely works as a one size fits all item and it's the perfect size on me. I'm surprised these first two items are actually really, really good. So the next thing we have is this dress. It has pretty much every keyword possible in the title, but uh, from looking at the product photos, it basically just looks like a tight fitting off the shoulder sweater dress. I am definitely more nervous about this being one size than like the wrap. Um, it could be bad but the dress was $26.99. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, I hate this. <laughs> so this is definitely too small on me. If I came out of the dressing room in this at any other store, I would be like, I need like two or three sizes up. It's supposed to be a fitted off the shoulder dress and uh, it's definitely fitted. But I think with a fitted like ribbed dress like this, what I want is the material to still be tight to my body, but not be like stretching or pulling anywhere. And like up here, I wouldn't really say it's stretching or pulling, 
but down here on my thighs, oh my gosh. Definitely doesn't fit the way it's supposed to. And I was hoping that this wrap part would be a little bit lower and then that would be a nice little touch like around my stomach area as well. Instead of just being one piece of fabric just kind of like stretching across my stomach. Also because this is so tight and small on me, the off the shoulder part keeps creeping up. <laughs> I would tell you to size up because of the shoulder. Yeah. But I feel like the idea of it is cute on you. Yeah. But I also think everything is cute on you. Oh. Thanks, Bessie girl. It's a little bit like Ray from Star Wars. Oh, so it's, it's kind of like right? sexy Christmas Ray. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, actually this maybe kind of does work as a one size item. Even though it's not like my ideal fit, I guess I could technically say it works, but uh, I would definitely be sizing up, that's for sure. Okay, so next up is actually two items. I stumbled across these one size fits all jeans on Amazon and just the name of these made me feel like I absolutely have to try it because sizing is already so hard in jeans. Like trying to find jeans in the right size is already enough of a struggle and you need like the perfect perfect fit when it comes to jeans. So one size, I don't know, that could be rough, but it actually is two sizes fit all. They have the standard size, which is supposed to fit sizes two through 12. And then the plus size, which is supposed to fit sizes 14 through 20, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually got both the standard size and the plus size. The plus size should be the ones that fit me because I am a 14, so I'm in that range. But I wanna try both and see how different they fit. So in a first probably ever, the plus size option was cheaper. The plus size jeans were $29.80 and the standard size was $29.99. So it was only cheaper by 19 cents, but still, that never happens. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> So the jeans are basically just leggings with a jean style pocket. But that is where the similarities between these and jeans stop. I was able to get them over my thighs with not too much trouble because they're very stretchy, but the waistband is not even close. So these definitely don't work for a size 14, but they didn't say they were gonna work for a size 14. I have the 14 to 20s over there. I don't know how this would work for a size 12. I can't picture this fitting me, even if I was like a full size smaller than I am. There's just no way. <laughs> okay, these are like a perfect fit for me. These are the 14 to 20s. The only fit thing I would say that could be an issue is that there's a little bit of extra fabric in the thighs. They're a little bit too loose here. So they just kind of like the extra fabric kind of bunches, but they're super stretchy. So it's not too much of a problem. I will say I could picture this fitting someone maybe one size bigger than me, maybe two. I don't know about fitting up to a size 20. I feel like that big of a size range even for stretchy jeans is just tough because how would these fit someone who wears a 14 and someone who wears a 20 in the same way that the first jeans, there's no way that those would fit a two and a 12. I don't know, it just doesn't seem feasible to me. And even with these being like a really good fit on me, I do think I would be doing this a lot because of how stretchy they are. I think these are better than I expected. I'm glad that they have a plus size version and a standard size version. I would say the plus size version could probably fit a 14 to an 18, but a 20 might be hard to fit into this. And same with the standard size jeans. Maybe they'd be fine on like, a four, a six, and an eight, but a 10 and a 12, probably not, and a two, probably not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are not the right size for me. If I had the option to, I would probably size down just one size. I categorize myself as mid-size a lot. I'll use that wording when I'm talking about my body. And what I mean by that is perfectly demonstrated in these two pairs of jeans. I am in the middle of standard size and plus size. The plus size version is a little bit too loose for me and the standard size version was way too tight for me. And as my weight fluctuates, I think some months I lean more towards the standard size side of things and some months I lean more towards the plus size version of things fitting me better. And I think the plus size version, at least right now, definitely fits me better. Our next one size fits all dress is this blue kind of like wrap knit sweater dress. It was $29.99, let's try it. Okay, but this is like low key kind of cute and I feel like the sizing isn't that bad. I like the idea of this dress. 
it isn't pulling anywhere. The fabric isn't pulling anywhere too badly. It's a little bit tight on my upper arms. It's fine on my lower arms. It's fine on my chest and my stomach, but even still, it's just a little bit more fitted here. Like I don't think it's pulling, but I feel like it's a cute idea. The only thing I don't really like is so it has this wrap detail and then the waistline is really high. It's like an empire waist. When I think of an empire waist, I think of it being looser fitting from there instead of fitted like this. So I feel like it almost looks like a maternity dress and I'm not pregnant, but like, I don't know. I feel like I maybe don't want just one piece of tight fitting sweater fabric when I have a waist that's like under my boobs. Like if I was gonna do this, I would drop the waist to here where my waist actually curves in. And then I would have the wrap part continue to here. And then that would be highlighting the smallest part of my waist and giving more of that hourglass shape. But as is, I wouldn't say I feel super confident in it. I think on someone who wears more like a size two or a size four, it would have that like looser fitting look to the bottom. But then I think it would be too big on top because it fits me perfectly on top. So I'm surprised. I thought a lot of these one size items were going to be made to fit the smaller sizes on the spectrum, but I feel like this is actually made to fit more like a 10 to 14 and it's pretty all right on me. Now I'm not wearing Spanx with this dress. If I was actually going to wear this, I would wear Spanx because the dress doesn't have that waist definition and the Spanx could help with that. And also it's tight fitting and it's showing my underwear line. So I would say this can maybe work for one size, at least for girls on the bigger side of the one size spectrum. Okay, so next up are bike shorts. And I have never tried one size bike shorts. I feel like maybe it could work. Not totally sure, but I got them in black and they were 11.50. So we'll find out together. Okay, these definitely fit. Um, if anything, they're a little bit loose here. I just reread the title of this item and I'm pretty sure it's one size fits all for plus sizes. So that makes sense as to why they would be a little bit loose, but I really like the fit overall. The material is very, very soft and like buttery, but they're also very thin, which I think is what makes them so comfortable and soft, but I definitely wouldn't wear these as like shorts. I would wear these with like a loose fitting shirt like this that covers my crotch and my butt, but wearing these on their own as pants, I feel like they're a little bit too thin and they definitely don't have a lot of structure. So it's kind of just like, camel toe central. I would probably size down two sizes if I had the option to, because they're just a little bit too loose here. And I don't think they would stay up in the waist. I would say this doesn't classify as a one size fits all item. It's definitely not the perfect size for me, but it's, uh, it's not bad. And the material and the quality feels really nice. If only they were a little bit thicker and a little bit more structured. Next up, we have another dress. This is the only item we got that wasn't Amazon Prime. It was still on Amazon, but everything else was Prime. And it was only $3.99, so we were tempted. It's this kind of like casual cotton t-shirt dress. And here's the thing. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be gray or black because when Skylar ordered it, it says black, but then when you click on the picture, it turns gray. So I guess we'll find out. Let's see it. Yep, this is definitely way too short on me for at least for my comfort level. So the fact that this dress is $3.99, honestly, it's pretty decent quality. It feels well put together. It's very soft. I like the fabric. I like the fit in theory. It does have some definition to it, some structure, but it's still just kind of a lightweight cottony dress. It is in fact black, so we solved that mystery. The actual fit of the dress for everything but the length is actually pretty okay. I think I would like a little bit of a looser fit here, but in the chest and in the legs is really nice. I just wish that it was longer. On someone who wears like a size two or a four, I feel like this would be the perfect length because for me as a size 14 woman, more of the fabric is taken up by the rest of my body. So then there's not as much length to it. But if you're someone who's like five, four like me, but wears a size two or a four, this would probably be kind of perfect. A size 14 woman who's like six foot, this probably wouldn't work for them either. I wouldn't say it works for one size fits all. I would say it works for one size fits most short girls. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember that sizing literally does not matter. Your body is not the problem. The clothes 
are the problem. And don't feel like you have to lose weight or get to a certain size before you can wear styles that you want to wear. There is no one size that fits all women. Everybody is different and unique and you can rock the things that you want to rock no matter how big or how small you are. I'm going to step off my soapbox now, but uh, I feel like whenever I do a video on sizing, it can be easy to hyper fixate on a number inside a tag. And I just want to remind you guys that that doesn't matter. And sometimes I need that reminder too. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.